Seventh grade science crew. Seventh grade science crew. Science rules. Seventh grade Hello students, my name is Miss B. I'm reporting live from the uh, highway uh, in the street with the only smoke of the cars. Um, and I'm here to talk about man-made air pollution. Human-made air pollution comes from many things. Most air pollution comes from humans because of transportation. Do you see all of these cars on the highway? It's so crazy, it's so crazy. Uh, uh, cars, for instance, make about 60% of the human-made air pollution, okay? Okay, the gases inside car exhaust nitrogen oxide, and they make smog and acid rain. Ouch! I think one little raindrop just burned me. Human-made air pollution is also caused when humans set their farmlands or forests on fire, producing such Okay, a black powder that is composed of carbon produced when coal, uh, glasses, and wood is burned, okay, um, from smoke. That can affect people and other living things when exposed to the atmosphere. We have to stop driving our cars. We have to, to reduce our carbon footprint. Look at all the smoke coming from the car. It's so crazy. Oh, me, oh, me, oh, my. <laughs> Miss Moore. Hi, Tammy. Hi. Uh, oh, hi, everybody. Hello, hello. How are you all doing today? Oh, oh this cigarette just—it's so nice. It hey, smokes hey, so hey, well. Tammy. Tammy. Ooh. Can we put the cigarette yes. out? Oh no, we can never put out the cigarette. My cigarette is life. No. I love. It just makes me feel so energetic. It helps me feel hey. so great. I just feel like I can conquer the world. But you're giving everyone secondhand pollution and secondhand smoke, so you're actually Whoa, 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 whoa. I need you to slow down. I need you to talk just a little louder because I can't hear you over my wheezing and breathing because sometimes breathing's a little bit difficult for old Tammy. Yeah, so, Tammy, that's, that's because you're causing secondhand smoke and secondhand pollution here right now. What? Secondhand pollution? Yes. What does... What does secondhand pollution even mean? I mean, wouldn't you want to be first? Um, I don't want to be second. I want to be first. So you're actually just polluting the air with all the smoke you're giving off, and you're also helping all the industries that create your cigarettes pollute the world too. You know, those they, they are very expensive. They are mm -hmm. super expensive. But you know, sometimes it just I just need my cigarettes to do what I need to get done. If I don't have my cigarette, what should I do, Miss Moore? Maybe we should try some gum. Some gum? Yeah. Do you have a piece of gum? I, not on me, we can go check my purse though. All right, let's go. Maybe we could go to the store. Can we go to the store? I'd like to have options. Yes, we can go to the store. Does that mean I have to put out my cigarette? Yes, uh, put the cigarette out. So we have to put out the cigarette to stop the pollution? Yes. I suppose so. Hello, and welcome to Small Town USA. Today we're going to talk about aerosols. Now, you're probably wondering what they are and where they come from. Well, any particle that gets picked up in the air or is formed from a chemical reaction in the air can be an aerosol. So, many aerosols enter the atmosphere when we burn fossil fuels such as coal, petroleum, and wood, come from particles and gases that come directly from these sources, and others come from chemical reactions in the air. Now, some aerosols we might not think of as aerosols, but things like dust and pollen from plants or mold spores, those are aerosols too. Officer Pluton here today, and I'm here to tell you about companies that are burning fossil fuels and causing harm to our environment. So some of the major offenders here are gonna be all of our gas station companies. So we're talking about ExxonMobil. We're talking about 
uh, Chevron, we're talking about Shell, we're talking about these gas companies that are constantly causing fossil fuels to burn. And when those fossil fuels burn, it causes a mass amount of air pollution. So, Officer Pollutant, what I do is I go around and I hold these companies accountable and I ask them to please stop burning their fossil fuels because burning fossil fuels is extremely dangerous for our environment. And so, you can be responsible for causing global warming, which is causing our temperatures to rise, our ice caps to melt, and our polar bears to become homeless. And nobody wants a homeless polar bear because then they might burst in your home and eat all of your fish. So, and it's very important that we hold Exxon responsible, Chevron, ConocoPhillips, all of these energy companies that are constantly burning our fossil fuels and messing up the environment around them. Hold those fossil fuel companies accountable. Officer Pollutant, out. in the air. I smell some smoke. It, smells, uh, it smells like me. <laughs> it's getting a lot stronger. Oh. Oh. Oh, that smells so bad. I. It smells like carbon. Oh, that gas. Do you hear the crackle? I, I hear something over there in the distance. It, it, I hear a crackle. It's beginning to look red. It's very, very red. Oh, no. Oh, I heard about this. I, it's a, I think it's a, a fire, for, I heard some humans talking about. Oh, it's a forest what fire. What is that big line of black smoke coming for oh us? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we better get out of Let's here. Let's go. Pollution jokes are really, really not funny. Why, why not? I... Because they are dead serious. <laughs> Pearson. What? Why are volcanoes so jolly? Jolly? I don't know. Why? Because every time you tell them a joke, they erupt with laughter. Uh. <laughs> Pearson, what's the difference between roast beef and forest fires? Roast beef and forest fires? Yeah. I have no idea. Anyone can roast beef, but only you can prevent forest fires. Seventh grade science crew. Seventh grade science.